NASA released this few days ago. In this video, we will see how space images are created and what kind of sound is that embedded in that image. Space images, they are beautiful, aren't they? We sometimes use them as our wallpapers. How do we get these images? Does space look like this? The answer is no. For example, if you look at say Orion Nebula which is one of the striking objects in the winter night sky through a telescope, you won't get to see such an image. Rather, you will be able to see this. Pretty disappointing, right? So, is this image wrong? Are these space agencies cheating us? Of course not. Let's see how they create such images. When we look through the telescope, we only see the visible part of the radiation coming from the light source as our eyes are adapted to see only visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, if we want to perceive that region of electromagnetic spectrum which is invisible for us, we need to get the help of those telescopes which are exclusively made to view the cosmos on a specific region of electromagnetic spectrum. These highly accurate, extraordinary telescopes gives us insight on how the universe works in that otherwise invisible part of ordinary matter. These telescopes collect tremendous amount of information in pieces and send it to Earth in digital format which contains zeros and ones. Just like how our computers and smartphones work. Scientists and programmers then process and analyze this data which they receive using computers and change them into meaningful images. It is a tedious and painstaking job to bring out such fascinating and accurate images from scratch which helps us to comprehend and expand our understanding of the cosmos. The color we see here are not the real colors. As we cannot see radio, infrared, UV, X-rays or gamma rays, we can say they have no colors. But in order to visualize the data, scientists allowed colors to represent different properties like energy, intensity, temperature, etc. of the astronomical object being studied. These colors are called false colors. They create separate images from different sets of data from different telescopes like X-ray, optical, millimeter telescopes and then combine together to make a composite image like this. So far, these data were converted to create visual images. Now an instrument that can convert this collected data into sound is being installed in NASA's three telescopes, Chandra X-ray, Spitzer and Hubble telescopes. Chandra X-ray telescope collected data from hot gases with temperature about millions of degrees. Whereas, Spritzer telescope gazes the sky in infrared region and collected data of complex interstellar clouds of dust. And finally, Hubble telescope and optical telescope collected the data of the stars being born. You have already heard one of those sounds at the beginning of this video. The process of converting data into sound is called sonification. Sonification is not a new process. It's being used in Giga Counter, which is an instrument invented in 1908 and used to detect and measure radiations near the device. It is one of the earliest and most successful application of sonification. In astronomy, converting information into sound can benefit us to understand more about universe. Informations are received in the form of amplitude and frequency and they determine the volume and pitch of the sound. We can convert those informations into meaningful sound. Thus, converted data is embedded on the image. The data from different telescopes use different musical instruments to create individual solos and then these solos 
combined together in composite image. They used this method to hear three different places in the universe. The center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A, the pillars of creation and Cassiopeia A, a supernova remnant. Let's listen to those solos and composite sounds. space image has a story to say. We can wait for more stories and music in the coming days, which can fascinate us, which can tell us how insignificant we are in the vastness of this universe. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye for now.